Well, Second Avenue, perhaps not the most imaginative choice of name for a road, but then this is Tynmouth in Devon, and they like life simpler down here. Renowned for its beautiful coastline, you can see why this is one of my favourite parts of the country and why so many people choose to live here. And while the vista of a three-bedroom mid-terrace might not make you misty-eyed, the guide price of £80,000 certainly won't leave you with tears in your eyes, especially when you know that similar properties around here have sold recently for almost double that. With the town centre only half a mile away and the beach even closer, the location is ideal. Initial impressions? Well, the exterior is in reasonable shape and still has some period features. However, all may not be as good as it seems. And the reason I say that is that the auction catalogue says that this property would be suitable for a DIY owner occupier or somebody from the building fraternity, which to you and me means it's going to need a bit of work. And yes, I think that's probably right. This front room doesn't worry me too much, apart from the decor. But as I head towards the back of the house into the dining room, the comments in the catalogue become clearer. There are cracks, which is never good news. But that tiny kitchen next door means there may need to be at least one more large hole in the wall. It's funny how fashions and people's requirements change, isn't it? I mean, when this house was built, I imagine it was absolutely essential that houses had a separate kitchen. Um, nowadays, people are looking for a bit more of an open plan kind of living idea. Um, as you can see, this kitchen definitely needs sorting out. So what I would suggest maybe is taking out this wall or at least part of this wall to create a much bigger area, because right now this just doesn't work. So there's room for improvement downstairs, but upstairs there's just room. Three good-sized bedrooms and a bathroom up here too. It all needs a bit of work, but higher up the list are those cracks, which continue in both the back bedrooms. A local property expert thinks the cracks have been here for some time. Timoth was quite a busy port and of course during the Second World War it was uh, a target for the Luftwaffe so um, of course they had a bit of fun bombing the, the area so um, the cracks could have been formed by some sort of um, movement from the bombs itself. On further inspection the cracks appear to be only on the internal walls which is a relief but I'd still want a professional opinion if it was my money. Putting aside structural issues for the moment what about getting the property back into shape? Refurbishment costs, uh, I would budget somewhere around the 25,000, but once completed, the property could fetch somewhere between 150 and 155,000 pounds. Based on those figures, that guide price of 80,000 was very interesting, providing the structure proved to be sound. Well, it's not just the house that needs to be checked out carefully. The legal pack that came with this property at the auction also pointed out that whoever bought it had to pay the vendor's legal fees and also the cost of producing a HIP, a home information pack that you legally have to produce now with every property that's sold. Two of those combined could well be over a thousand pounds. You don't want to find that surprising you. Anyway, who did buy it when it went to the auction? We're to lot 34. A mid-terrace, three-bedroomed, two-storey house for general refurb. Is that 100? Is that 90? 90, thank you. 90 Ruay. Or be under, but there we go. Easy to work out the commission. At 90, at 90, at 90,000. Looking for two. At 90, have I got two? 92? 92. At 92, then. At 92. At 92 for lot 34. At 92,000 once. At oh, 94. 94. At five, perhaps. At £94,000 then. At nine, let's go through it then. 94 once. £94,000 twice. At 94000 you're sure and done. It will be sold. That's that simple. At 94 and selling at that. Congratulations. The confident bidder who paid £14,000 over the guide price is Kevin. He and his family relocated to Devon four years ago. This house is an investment, not just for him, but for his daughter, Natalie. Kevin, Natalie, lovely to meet you both. You too. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, 
good solid little house actually. Why did you want to buy it, Kevin? Well, basically, Nats is uh, doing a teacher training at the moment, so if you're going to be a PE teacher, and she's wanting to come back to the bay. We're wanting to, uh, to come back to the bay. We're very keen for her to come back. So we decided to uh, look to see if we could purchase something that was right for her. And she said she'd like to be in Timworth, hence why we're here today. Heck of a bribe. I mean, yeah. well. <laughs> I mean, normally for students, it's like just doing the washing and picking up a bit of some food <laughs> is incentive enough to come home. Well, I don't know. She's quite a hard-working soul and, uh, and showing commitment to come back to me, I'm quite pleased. So how does this work, then? Because this sounds just great. I mean, Dad sort of comes along and, and just buys it? I mean, yeah. how does it work financially? I had some savings um, and then Dad's put the rest towards it and I will have to pay him back at some point. <laughs> and there is nothing wrong with the bank of Dad. I mean... No. <laughs> it's a great it's, nice. it's a lot better than any other kind of bank. Well, at least this banker has the benefit of his daughter living closer to home, which he's obviously chuffed about. As for Natalie, she'll be concentrating on studying for her sports development degree. There's one area in particular she's rather good at. Yeah, I play play a bit of football. Um, and and how, have you progressed very far in that? Um, yeah, I play county. I've had I had trials um, for a bit higher than that. So for, for, for how high? Um, national trials. That's a couple of years ago now. <laughs> You're very coy cool about this. You're something to be really <laughs> proud of. <laughs> so let me get this right. You are uh, an England standard. Woman football player? Uh, I uh, was a couple of years ago. Wow. Now probably county standard, so, yeah. That's brilliant. Yeah, yeah she played for Devon, uh, played um, for Leicestershire, Leicestershire, played for Leicester City School of Excellence, uh, Plymouth Argyle. So, yeah. quite nice standard. With her sporting achievements and desire to teach, Natalie hopes to find a job locally once she graduates. Meanwhile, she'd be learning some new skills herself. It does need a bit of work doing on it. It's not perfect as it is. I couldn't really move in tomorrow. But it is It's like a Mary Poppins house. It's a lot bigger on the inside than it looks from the outside. And it's really nice. We've got a lot of, lot of, lot of ideas for it. And I'm really looking forward to getting on with it now. With upstairs staying mainly as it is, downstairs will be prescribed the biggest treatment. A large dose of that will be for the kitchen. That will be knocked through to create a large kitchen diner with French doors leading out to the back. While Natalie is busy studying in Cardiff, Dad Kevin will be the one tackling most of the work and he's already done his homework. So what have you found out about the cracks? Well, basically, uh, 2006, there was a survey undertaken, which luckily I got a copy of, and um, it showed that the main sewer going out from the back of the property and the back toilet had collapsed. Um, so obviously the property had actually moved, particularly where that sewer was. Luckily, um, we, that work's now been undertaken and rectified, and that will now allow us the cosmetic problems we've got internally to just be rectified. Right. So thankfully, um, we should be over that. Just replastering, uh, isn't it? And then touching up here and there, I suppose. So. Yeah, easy nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Simple stuff, though, really. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad Kevin has had those cracks checked out. With the all clear, he plans to spend between ten and fifteen thousand pounds on this project, including employing a builder. That might seem a little tight, but as usual, Natalie's family are one step ahead. She's very lucky. She has an uncle. We have a kitchen business in the Midlands, and her uncle has donated her a kitchen. Yeah, she's a sport little man, isn't she? Early birthday, <laughs> early birthday present wow. for that one. So, yeah. he's, already, he's already measured up and that's in the process of he's coming to us. designs and everything for uh, it, so I've been able to so go in and pick the exact one I want. You. So, yeah, big thank you for him. So, Uncle Carl, so <laughs> Uncle Carl's wow. donating, yeah, so that's very nice. So, that'll save her the cost of the kitchen. And then, generally... Um, it's just cosmetic, it, really. Yeah, sorting Upstairs, out some of the... not going to be much, much changed, is there? Possibly in years to come, if family grows or whatever maybe but currently it's gonna stay how it is this is a fantastic start in life that Kevin and his wife Michelle are giving the eldest of their two daughters but Natalie plans to pay them back once she lands the job she's worked so hard to secure as for dad he's just happy to have his family close by we're very fortunate we're quite a close-knit family my dad helped me and I think um, you know he gave hours and hours to me uh, as I was growing up, so 
what more can you do? You know, it yeah. makes me quite emotional, actually. I've got to be quite, yes, does. quite grateful, yeah, definitely. That's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And how does it feel, what your dad's done for you? Yeah. Um, I couldn't be... I couldn't be more happy mm -hmm. with him, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm very lucky to be in the position that I am at my age. There's a lot of people that, that don't have this, this good a start in life, so I, I couldn't be more grateful with what I've been given now. <laughs> I'm very, very appreciative. The most important thing for me is to get something that gives Natalie a place to come back to, and hopefully, you never know, I might be lucky to get grandchildren here one day. I'm not going to push it. <laughs> I, I, I'd love that if that was the case. So. so it's a good area to, to bring kids up in, right. if that is the case. <laughs> Well, Natalie has certainly scored on this one, although it's fair to say that I think her dad has his own goals in mind. No, genuinely, it's a lovely story. Interesting prospects for the house, yes. You can find out how they get on later in the show. But first, it's back to Devon to see Natalie's first home. I came back from university. I was shocked to see how much had changed. Earlier in Tynmouth in Devon, we met Kevin and his daughter Natalie. Natalie was in her second year at university in Cardiff, but hoping to move back here once she'd graduated. To help her do that, Dad Kevin bought this, a three-bedroom mid-terrace for £94,000. They planned to renovate it and rent it out until she completed her studies. While Natalie still has one year to go, three months was all it took to get this property to the top of the class. It's all happened very quickly, so I've got my dad and mum to thank for most of it, really. I think she's underestimating. She started work on the afternoon you left. Um, we managed to get the kitchen out that afternoon. She worked very hard on that afternoon. And basically, we've gone throughout the house. Everything in the house has been done. And we've been very lucky because not only has our mum really helped, it's been quite a family affair. We've got all the work done um, inside what we wanted to do, so I can't complain at all. I'm really happy. With mum, dad and Natalie's sister all getting involved, they've transformed this house, all ready for Natalie to make the leap into her first property. Biggest changes are the addition of a WC and cloakroom under the stairs and this kitchen diner, which makes a huge difference. But they didn't stop there. Yes, yeah, probably the dramatic changes is the outside, uh, is the patio. Obviously, now we've got an area that we can come out from the uh, dining area into the outside area and even open up into the outside. We put into the deck, which I'm quite pleased with, and it gives us now some space to work with outside. Initial concerns regarding the cracks have been sorted and all the internal walls have been replastered. There's a new bathroom suite and carpets replaced throughout. All this was done while Natalie was at university, although she did help out when she could. Um, this might not be the most dramatic of rooms, but it's my favourite because it was the first one when I first came back to university. That, that had been completed. It was all fresh in here. The, the walls had been painted, uh, the cupboards had been done, curtains had gone up, carpet had gone in, and it was, it was really starting to feel like my home for the first time. As well as the whole family pitching in, Kevin has employed local tradesmen where necessary. But they've done the majority of the work themselves, making a big impact on their budget. Initially, we had a budget of about ten to fifteen thousand, without the extension going on the back. We have come in under have, ten thousand. Just under, yeah. Uh, matrix, so. yeah, we've come in well under ten. That spend of ten thousand pounds brings the total to about a hundred and four thousand. That's amazing considering the work that's gone into renovating this house. But for Kevin and his family, this really has been a labour of love. 
the most satisfying thing for me is that she's really pleased with it. Um, I think when we started out, and I say like for the first few weeks, it was not going anywhere. But once we then see a reaction and then we see it complete, uh, then what more could you want? It was wonderful. So I'm really pleased. Kevin is immensely proud that he's been able to do this for Natalie. He's learnt a great many skills doing the renovation, so with all the experience he's gained, does he plan to do it again? I might have to do it again. Um, you know, look, this is the oldest. Uh, obviously, she now can come back and has got somewhere to come and live in. I've got another daughter, so once you've set, you've set a precedent, so I've, got a, I've made a rod from my own back, so... He's got a couple of years before then, but has this one been a wise investment? Kevin paid £94,000 for this at auction and then spent ten grand renovating it, but has its value gone up? To find out, we invited a couple of property professionals down for a closer look. It looks absolutely great, and as I've walked around the house, it's just got better and better. They've done an absolutely fantastic job with the property. Great enhancements throughout the property from top to bottom. You know, in such a short space of time, they've done a wonderful job. This would fit extremely well within the market. It would sell very, very easily. If you compare it to other properties of a similar nature, it would certainly rank in the top 10%. The, the standard of finish is, is perfect for a property of this type in this area. You know, not, they've not gone to town in the sense of gold taps and, and bespoke kitchens. It's just run of the mill, but very nice, clean, tidy uh, and modern, which is the main thing. So, positive comments from the estate agents. What do they think Natalie and Kevin could achieve in rental for the coming year? Realistically, you're probably looking at £625 to £650 per calendar month. I don't think we'd have any problem at all in getting 725, 750 per, per calendar month for it, which would represent about an 8.5% return on the vendor's investment, uh, which is a lot better than he could get anywhere else at the moment. That'll certainly help pay off those student debts. And of course, her dad. But after a total spend of 104,000 on buying and renovating this house, has its value increased? Property value as it stands today would be somewhere in the region of £150,000 to £155,000. If we were going to market this property now, because it's so nice, normally I would have said about one fifty, but I think we'd like to try it £175,000. Oh, it's wonderful. Well, that's excellent news. It's, it's a lot higher than we were expecting, um, given the current, the current economy. But, um, but yeah, we're, I'm pretty pleased with that. <laughs> yeah, for, for me as well, yeah, for, for what we paid for it potentially. But again, for us, it's, it's a long-term investment yeah. for our daughter. It's not about a short-term gain in doing the property. Natalie can enjoy her final year in university, get her degree and return to Tynmouth, happy in the knowledge that she's not only got her own place to live in, but her family are just a few miles away. Oh.